Hello there and uh, welcome. I hope you had a nice week. Uh, here in Germany the weather is quite stormy for the last few days and I'm fighting a bit of headache and tiredness but overall I'm feeling fine. So today's build is gonna be a modernized uh, mid-century uh, house and this house is actually again for a challenge this time the challenge was hosted by yellow plum bob she is a streamer and uh, i'm following her on instagram and she makes actually a challenge every month the hashtag for the challenge is base game plus one and the challenge behind this is that you have to build a house with only base game and one additional pack and you are only allowed to build on a 20 by 15 lot. So for this challenge I decided to build with only base game and the Eco Lifestyle Pack. The Eco Lifestyle Pack is one of my favorite uh, expansion packs we have. Uh, not only because I like the build by uh, objects a lot, but also I really enjoy the gameplay and it's always fun to start a new legacy challenge uh, with with this pack because you can live uh, off the grid very good and be self-sustainable so yeah it's a very entertaining pack and uh, i would recommend it uh, for the build uh, i decided to make a mid-century build but in a modernized way that's uh, the modernized uh, aspects of this comes through the eco lifestyle pack and uh, I decided on this because I wanted to build in Oasis Springs where you have uh, a lot of mid-century builds already and I never really built in this world before and because of the last weeks where I built more uh, old-fashioned houses I wanted to do something modern and I think this fits very well, a modern build fits very well into this uh, world. It was really nice to build something modern uh, for a change and to use the build by objects from Eco Lifestyle, which I didn't use for quite a while now. For the exterior, I decided for a very classical mid-century form, uh, but refrained myself from uh, using the butterfly roof again like I did in my modern lake cabin. Uh, the landscaping is uh, very minimal because the lot just didn't give that much space and I didn't want to make a second floor uh, because I think that uh, for mid-century builds a one floor layout just fits better. And in this video I'm actually showing you only the landscaping of the front of the building. Um, the back of the building has almost no lands. Uh, well, it has some landscaping, but very minimal. And uh, I used a lot of terraces for this build, so I cut this part out because it's nothing special. It's, it's just a little green area. But you can see the uh, back area of the house in the end of the video in the screenshots. So we are in, at the interior already and I try to use a bit of platforms to give it the 70s vibe. Uh, in my mind this house uh, is an actual old uh, original mid-century build but it was modernized by the family who lives in here. So I tried to keep the build elements old and try to make the new look more through the uh, furniture. I, uh, I used the uh, sofas uh, from the debug menu where, which you can find in the Eco Lifestyle pack. I really think they look gorgeous. I like this furniture set a lot. I try to use also as, as much uh, of the Eco Lifestyle furniture as possible so my build do justice to the challenge. Uh, at the moment I'm totally into green interiors and I already did it in my last build where I renovated an apartment and here again I'm using a dark green wall. 
I don't know where it came from, but at the moment I love to look uh, at pictures of green interiors on Pinterest and I started a board on it. Uh, I don't know, I, I think it has such a nice look to it and it, uh, the green wallpaper just fits so many things like you can use black and dark colors or light uh, wood colors and white and I don't know what it makes to me, but uh, I just love green interiors at the moment. But anyway, uh, let's talk about this build uh, a bit more. Uh, due to the challenge, I built uh, this house on a 20 by 15 lot and it has two bedrooms and one bathroom. I So I make it for a small family. And in my mind, this family moved here in into the old mid-century house and renovated it, modernized it. And this family is also very fond of the eco lifestyle. And I put them some items so they can uh, live more self-sustainable and can produce their own water and their own energy. I also gave them a candle making uh, station so they maybe one of them uh, earns them their money with making candles i also gave them some back farms so they can cook with uh, the stuff they produce or maybe make their own energy with this i also gave them some gardening patches uh, only a few this time but that's a thing i really enjoy uh, in gameplay d uh, doing the uh, gardening and if you don't like this uh, maybe for this build and you want to play with it there I built this uh, gardening patches on the uh, roof uh, of one of the sides of the houses and you can easily remove it and give them maybe uh, an additional terrace uh, for the kitchen I used the industrial type kitchen which came with a base game pack I'm really sad that I couldn't use the kitchen which came with the dream home decorator pack. I think this would have suited the house a bit more but because of the challenge restriction I wasn't allowed to do so. Uh, but well I think the industrial kitchen fits uh, this build anyway. It's a bit more modern and uh, but not in this uh, Scandinavian look, so maybe it's even fitting the house better. I usually don't restrict myself uh, to the packs I'm using while building and I have to say I find it quite challenging uh, to not uh, have all the items I own in the game for a build, but it worked quite well I think. I missed some items like from the Blooming Room kit, uh, the plans to have there, I think they fit very nicely to actually every build I made uh, until now with this kit. And they give the possibility to clutter up the space a bit more. So I'm doing one of the terraces uh, now here and I decided myself to put a barbecue uh, on this terrace because probably this family would uh, cook in the evenings outside when the weather is warm and it's nicer I guess to eat and cook outside when the weather is right. And I think the bug is fixed where Sims would come and uh, brew uh, stress relief potions in, on the barbecue so I hope it is really <laughs> uh, fixed and you can enjoy the gameplay in this house. There is also a second uh, terrace uh, on the left side and it's the terrace for the master bedroom. I didn't put much there, it's just a spot where you can relax but there's also the candle making station. So one of the sims, uh, adult sims can work there. For the master bedroom I decided on this yellow wallpaper which I really like and I think it fits the environment of Oasis Springs very well and it makes it cheerful and bright full uh, and bright and uh, so I imagine that the parents who are living here are 
very optimistic uh, people and with this very sunny character. I also try to use uh, to use a lot of greens in this house and especially on this part of the terrace. So it fits uh, the rest of the world uh, or, or this lot where you can find a lot of green and makes it a bit more cheerful and less stern, if this makes sense. And yes, it gives the whole uh, terrace a bit of a retreat vibe to it. I also have to say that I really like the lightning on the slot. You can see it a bit on the right side where the sun shines through the uh, flowers I put on uh, the terrace roof. And uh, I really tried to capture this in the screenshots. Uh, so I even uh, fast forwarded to the next day so I can catch the slide again. And with this uh, bright and warm yellow tone on the walls. I don't know, it, uh, I miss summer, I guess. Uh, I, I would enjoy some warmer days finally and, you know, the winter was long enough, I guess, for me at least. For the furniture, I decided for the darker brown tones for this room because, uh, well, for one, the combo of dark brown and yellow feels very 70s to me and I think the family who lives here modernized a bit, but they wanted also to keep the flair of the uh, 50s as well. So it's uh, quite fitting and I like the contrast a lot also. And in Germany there is a uh, chocolate milk, which uh, uses the same, scol same colors for their brand. And I, I think it's uh, a very tasteful combination of colors, I guess. <laughs> um, I also gave uh, did uh, office space in the bedroom because it was so big and I think that the family needs a PC and they got a TV as well, which I don't often do, but uh, I think this family is more modern than uh, the families I usually build for. So it fits maybe one of the uh, parents is, is doing something uh, with computers or work from home and do a freelancer job maybe. But this time I didn't think much about the family who lives here, I have to admit because, you know, the challenge aspect of this build was, I, I guess, more important to me and to try, uh, well, uh, try make it work it out but well I would say that obviously they have something with uh, to do with environment maybe uh, at least one of the parents is taking care of the environment I guess well it's uh, somehow funny that I really don't have anything to say uh, about them at least nothing that's uh, important but uh, you can make your own story, obviously, about this build. Uh, here I am trying to find a rug for this uh, room and I don't know, I think finding the right rug is al always the most difficult aspect of building. And I don't, I'm not a rug person. I personally, in my apartment, I don't have any rugs, so I don't know how to com combine it. Um, here are we, we are in the bathroom, which is my typical layout, I would say. Uh, I used the dark wallpaper from Eco Lifestyle and a brighter f a flooring for, for this room. Uh, again, I used the um, sanitary objects from Eco Lifestyle as well. And uh, even if it's my typical layout i would say i really like this uh, bathroom i i made a little platform behind the bathtub uh, where you can where your sim can put some stuff on it and i think it turned quite cute and makes it a bit more special than my usual bathrooms i also use this room divider uh, wall decoration stuff which came from the, with the eco lifestyle pack and i 
decided for a bright uh, brown color for this and you will see it in a moment. I think it gives a, a really nice contrast to this dark blue bathroom and I have to say I'm quite fond of this bathroom. I like how it turned out and it has everything you need for uh, the family, like if you decide to have a toddler uh, instead of a child, uh, then you can easily do everything with the toddler you has to do you have to do. Um, I didn't put laundry in this bathroom, even though there would be space for this, but I decided against it uh, because I like my platform idea, I guess. <laughs> And I also have to admit that I don't enjoy doing laundry in the game because it seems to be still buggy. I don't know how you feel about it. Do you enjoy doing the laundry in gameplay or do you do put the stuff more into your houses, more as a decoration? Uh, here I am doing the uh, child bedroom and I think like I don't know, I think that's uh, the thing that I do the most with my children is to give them their artistic prodigy uh, aspiration. I I think that's the most, it's the most enjoyable aspiration for children, for me at least. And I again used a lot of the solid colors on the walls like I did in the living room and in bedroom and the bathroom as well and this time I used red color maybe it's not that calm and I don't I don't know if you would use it in a bedroom in real life but I uh, I think it's uh, very cute and fitting to to the furniture I put in there and I'm again uh, s struggling with the rug <laughs> And uh, I give the child here a creativity table and a violin and so, you know, the child can do the artistic prodigy aspiration here very well. So we are coming to an end of this video and you can find this slot uh, on the gallery. It's called Echo Mid Century and, you know, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe. And you can find me on Instagram as well as well on Pinterest. Uh, you can find the links down below. And if you have any build suggestions or want to tell me something, you can use the comments down below. I wish you a nice week and we will see us next week. So bye bye. Mm -hmm.